Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is my December beauty favorites. Now I don't typically do a December beauty favorites because I just jump right in with the end of the year roundup, but I haven't done a beauty favorites since June. So I figured I should do a little one of kind of like my fall winter favorites and what I've been loving. And then, then we'll jump into the end of the year roundup. So if you wanna see, all of my favorite beauty products for the month of November and December, then just keep watching. Okay, this product should come as no surprise to anyone. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Mini in Sculpture Unlocked. This is the best thing ever. I had to actually stop myself from using it because I don't want it to run out. So like on a day-to-day -day basis, I've been like using the bronzer and the blush every single day. And then I was like, oh no, those are gonna be like nothing and the highlighter is gonna be left. So I am gonna try to save it for when I do like a full face, but I'm wearing it all today. It's just stunning. I'm so happy with it. I love the size. I love the shades. I think it's just gorgeous for winter. This berry blush is so gorgeous. This highlighter is so natural. I love the bronzer. So I actually have no idea if they're still selling this or not. I will have to look online, but I just love it. So I'm a big fan now of the ambient lighting palettes. I've already loved the ambient lighting powders. Next, this is very, very worn out and I have to buy a new one. I've talked about this before. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel. I'm in the shade Caramel. I'm not wearing it today, but I have been wearing this every single day without doing my brows. So today when I'm filming, I actually have like pencil in them or whatever. But on a day-to-day -day basis, when I'm just wearing like concealer, mascara, and brows, I just run this through my brows and it is the best brow gel, in my opinion, that fills them out without making them look overdone, heavy, too dark, because this color caramel is perfect for my eyebrows, because like, again, I have brown eyebrow, or kind of like a light brown, my hair is red, very complicated, but this has been my go-to in kind of quarantine, not really going anywhere. I just swipe this on my brows, and it is better than the Gimme Brow, it's my favorite. It is my favorite brow gel um, that's tinted, that fills in, and I love it. This is a very oldie, but a goodie. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Do you remember this thing? It's just a drugstore powder, like my lid is broken. It's just this little powder, but I ran, did I just break it? No, I ran out of my Too Faced um, Pressed and Poreless powder, I think that's what it's called, which I love, but again, I'm not really going anywhere and I'm just trying to save money. So I was like, oh, what powders do I already own? And I found this one, I love this. It sets your makeup beautifully, it lasts all day, it doesn't make you too, too matte, like I feel like I've still got some glow to me. It's just, it's just a great everyday powder for the regular people like myself like I rarely film anymore I'm mostly just sitting around the house and I don't want to use like a $50 powder just to do that so bring out the Rimmel Stay Matte it's perfect this is the Laneige Lip Sleepy Mask which has been a favorite of mine probably for two years now since it came out but the Mint Choco uh scent is so amazing you definitely have to like mint. I'm learning my boyfriend does not like mint in anything, like especially candy cane ice cream, which is my favorite. But this scent is incredible, especially over like the winter. I just absolutely love it. I find myself just reapplying it all the time because I love the scent of it. So if you're a big fan, I would try to buy the mint choco in the large size. I definitely should because it might sell out. I feel like the, everything I love just will sell out. I don't know. That's a favorite. Next, this is the Tarte Colored Clay CC Under Eye Corrector in Light Medium. I hauled this in my previous video. I'm wearing this today underneath my concealer. I'm not sleeping that well. If you guys have watched my life update, there's a lot going on. <laughs> so I'm not sleeping that well. So this definitely helps brighten up my eyes. I just put it in the corner and I'm also finding this outer edge right here is getting blue, like very dark when I first wake up in the morning and then obviously in here and then on my um, eyelids. So I put this on, it's a brightening, very, very thick concealer and then I go in with my regular routine. But this is so brightening, easy to apply, no nonsense and just makes you look like you've had a full night's sleep. Rare Beauty, this might be my new favorite lipstick. This is the Dewey Lip Balm in Thankful. They shouldn't call this a lip balm because it tricked me. It's actually extremely, extremely pigmented. I would say it's more of like a sheer 
moisturizing lipstick. I wouldn't call it a lip balm because there's definitely more color. Like it's a full out lipstick, but I love it. It's just a neutral brown tone. It's so hydrating. We're, I'm not really wearing lipstick ever, mostly because of masks. But if I am, um, I find this one's just nice to throw on. If you want to amp it up, put a lip liner under it. If you just want to sheer it out, rub it in with your fingers, add it in with, you know, this and you're good to go. It's just a beautiful everyday color. Smells nice, feels nice, great, great everyday staple. Okay, this I wanna talk about. This is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water and this is in the Normal Sensitive Skin Waterproof. It's the blue lid. I've tried the pink lid, the gold lid, which is the Argan Oil, I hated that one. I have learned this actually takes off waterproof mascara. So here I was wearing waterproof mascara every day, cause that's what I do. But then going to take it off and having to use my oil cleanser. And like I said, in quarantine and COVID, I'm just not feeling my full routines like normal. I just wanna wipe off my makeup. So I actually have white reusable cotton rounds from Amazon and they're so gorgeous and soft. They're like a cotton. I shake this up, I use this, I just gently brush it across my eyes and it removes all of my waterproof mascara. You might have to just gently hold it on there for a little while, but it completely does the trick, especially with those cotton, actual like reusable makeup pads. Um, I find it better than the actual like disposable cotton pads. But this has been my go-to. I just bought this recently and I've already used it all up. I just find it's like a no-nonsense way to remove your makeup, especially waterproof makeup because usually you can't just use normal things like a makeup wipe. You have to do like an oil cleanse or what have you, but this one actually works. A little skincare. This is a sample of the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. I'll see if I can find the full size. This is incredible. Um, I know you can get it at Sephora Canada. I'm not sure if you can get it at Sephora US, but I will definitely try to find it. This is a Korean skincare line, and to me this feels like Vaseline. Like, it may just be Vaseline in nice packaging, but I'm still gonna buy it. It just is like a no-nonsense hydrating eye cream. There's no like scent dye tinglingness in it. There's nothing that could irritate my eyes. I've been no I've been using the Oil Henriksen one and that has actually been giving me a bit of a rash underneath my eyes. I'm very very sensitive and this one is just hydrating. It just feels like you're rubbing Vaseline under your eyes. It is hydrating. You will just get rid of all those fine lines. I use it morning and night. I don't have to have two different products simple, effective. The next thing I want to talk about is this native deodorant. My sister-in-law actually made me uh, try this. It's hers. She bought a pack of three and gave me this one. This is the scent coconut and vanilla. So basically it's aluminum free. I am a sweaty person. I hope this isn't TMI, but she wanted me to try this and she's like, you need a two week detox period where your body is like releasing the toxins from your regular aluminum deodorant. So so far, this is the best, like, this isn't organic or, like, clean, but it's just got no aluminum. So a healthier deodorant. This is the first time I've used a healthier deodorant that I actually like. I just find I have to apply it more often throughout the day. Like, a regular deodorant, I can apply once and be good. Now, I find, like, even with these lights, I'm a bit sweaty, so I might apply a little bit afterwards, but... It works, and I am a very sweaty person, okay? So if you're looking for an all-natural deodorant that doesn't have aluminum, try Native. Um, I'm pretty sure you just order it online, but it's really, really good, and I don't know. I'm still in the detox phase a bit, but I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. And that is everything that I have been loving in the past couple months. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave down in the comments products that you have been loving in the month of December, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.